is up YouTube, this is Smitty Gaines. This is your first time looking for information about fitness on YouTube. Welcome to my channel, right? I want to take this time to say that, you know, I'm really grateful for what I've learned through YouTube because there are a lot of people in bodybuilding that I really appreciated when I went through my issues with my injury. So for those of you that don't know, I was a triathlete. I was riding about 300 miles a week and I was running about 30 miles a week. And, you know, I was a competitive swimmer in high school, middle school. And so I'm training, I'm on a road and running, you know, 20 hours a week, some weeks, most weeks, right? And then I got hit by a car, I had an accident, and I lost feeling the less out of my body. I had to learn how to lose weight in ways that did not involve cardio, right? And so I learned a lot about bodybuilding, and I really appreciate bodybuilding. And people like Rich Piana were at my fingertips. I could just look at one of his videos and feel better about, you know, fitness. Um, there were people like Mac Truck that I listen to still to this day in Cali Muscle that really made me feel good about learning about how these guys went about their fitness journey. And then recently I've been seeing uh, things coming across my YouTube feed about Cali Muscle, how his health was, uh, you know, at risk and how he'd been in the hospital. I want to say vitamin K1, vitamin K2, B-complex vitamins, right off the bat, they help to reduce your blood viscosity, help to get the protein and homocysteine out your blood, help to get the excessive calcium out of your blood, and get it to where it needs to go in your body. I just want to talk about, you know, this Cali Muscle thing. He's on a watermelon fast, and I look for information about watermelon fast, couldn't figure out why it's important. For men, I think it's significantly interesting because watermelon has... Uh, interesting connection with uh, testosterone. And so I'm going to read to you what my friendly chat GPT enabled app called Koala, Koala AI. I asked it about the situation specifically. I asked Koala AI, how might chemicals derived from watermelon be used to boost testosterone? And I asked it to cite relevant sources in MLA format as we did in grad school. And it says, as an, AI, as an AI language model, I do not have personal opinions or beliefs. However, I can provide you with information on the topic you requested. Watermelon contains an amino acid called citrulline, which I've seen citrulline supplements, which can be converted into arginine in the body. Arginine is the essential amino acid that plays a role in the production of nitric oxide, a compound that helps to dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow. Improved blood flow can potentially help with ED, a condition that can be caused by low testosterone levels. While there is some evidence to suggest that watermelon may have a positive effect at testosterone levels, the research is limited and inconclusive. One study that the rats found that watermelon extract increased testosterone levels, but more research is needed to determine whether this effect would be observed in humans. And then there are a couple of sources, one from Science 208, the other one is from uh, 2018 by Levine, this is one from Topo from 2009. And this one thing that I couldn't pronounce earlier is called cucurbitacins. Cucurbitacins, right? Cucurbitacins is a, a, a chemical, right? In this, in this network of uh, testosterone production through watermelon. And so, um, so I wanted to understand it a little bit better. So I asked uh, my... Friendly Qual AI, my chat GPT enabled app, Cucurbitacins, describe the processes and mechanisms by which Cucurbitacins contributes to the body's testosterone production. Cite relevant sources in MLA format, and it says Cucurbitacins are a class of chemical compounds found in plants belonging to the Cucurbitaceae family, Cucurbitaceae family, including cucumbers, pumpkins, and gourds. Studies have shown that Cucurbitacins have anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, anti-diabetic properties, and may also play a role in regulation in regulating testosterone. It may also play a role in regulating testosterone production in the body. Research has suggested that cucurbitacins can stimulate the release of nizin hormone from the pituitary gland, which in turn stimulates the production of testosterone in the intestines. This effect has been observed in both vitro and vivo studies. Cucurbitacins may also inhibit the activity of aromatase, an enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen, thereby increasing the amount of testosterone available in the body. One study conducted on rats found that treatment with cucurbitacin B increased serum testosterone levels and sperm count, while also reducing levels of 
estradiol, a form of estrogen. Another study on human prostate cancer cells found that cucurbitacin E inhibited the activity of aromatase, leading to an increase in testosterone levels. So all you guys talking about aromatase inhibitors, we all know that now, now you had no excuse, you know that cucurbitacin E inhibited the activity of aromatase, which leads to an increase in testosterone levels. While these studies suggest that cucurbitacins may have a positive effect on testosterone production, more research is needed to fully understand their mechanisms of action and potential benefits for human health. The sources for the study, 2018 from 10, uh, 10 did another study uh, in 2014, and this is another study from Lou from 2018. And those are just a couple of things that I'll have to say about cucurbitacins. I'm not sure that um, watermelons are from the cucurbitacy family. Yeah, so there. So I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. A watermelon is part of the cucurbitacy. A watermelon is part of the cucurbitacy family. Yes, watermelons are part of the cucurbitacy family, which also includes other fruits and vegetables such as cucumbers, pumpkins, squash, and gourds. And now we know. Maybe this is why pumpkin seeds boost testosterone. I don't know. I'm just here doing a YouTube video. I'm researching and learning as I go. I hope you had an interesting time learning with me. I'm Smitty. I hope you reach your fitness goal, and I'll talk to you later.